Look at how beautiful he is, man. Ah! Dude, I love him. Indeed, my meanest snake I have. She's crazy. And she's a serious snake, right? Definitely want to be on your toes at all times with her. She is not like Rusty. But that's a sweet jacket you got on yeah. there, man. Yeah, then I'm like... this cage you will have certain death hello babies you getting ready for halloween guys you ready for spooky season dude all dabbies you ready guys you ready to move for spooky season i am hello baby girl you're so cute oh look at that gabby and chris thank you guys so much for uh donating some stuff for the creatures. What are you doing out here? He's gotten big? Oh, he's not the only guy. He's not the only thing that's got big around here. Look at that baby inside there. Yeah, I'm about to give him some chicken hearts though right now. Delicious. Yum, yum, yum. He's such a badass. Dude, are you even enjoying that, bro? Can you even taste it? Just swallowing it. Good morning, sir. Come here. Come here, little man. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Well, you know, this is our morning. Wake up, let Onyx out, put him on his cat tree. Now we gotta let the little wieners out. Let's go. CV, you ready to go out with the boys? Come on, let's go. Be free! Nice. Hey guys, hey mama. Beautiful, look at that, what's up? It's bittersweet guys, bittersweet. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna miss this view for sure. Moving, moving is gonna be freaking awesome. But I'm definitely gonna miss waking up on the water with my boat right here. Obviously I'm keeping my boat. I'm gonna, we're gonna do other boat stuff where we move to, you know? But it's just gonna be different. Oh, it's beautiful though. We're just waiting on Alex to get here. It's time for a fun day. We're getting back in that snake room and it's time to finally set up the baby cobras. And check out this king tide too. Like look how high the tide gets. Look, it's going over my dock. So, I mean, dude, it's only a matter of a couple of years before king tide starts going up into these lawns and stuff and gets way worse. Hello cute boy. Hello cute man. You're so cute little Travis. Oh, you're so cute. I love you so much. Okay, it's baby cobra time, guys. Need to do a little update on these guys and show you how we're doing. We got a couple of them already shedding out. So, what I wanna do, most of these, and a couple of, couple of the last videos these guys are shedding okay a lot of them had really cloudy eyes going into shed so what i like to do is that when they're babies i don't like to put water bowls in here just because there's those little deli cups and they tip them over really easy what i like to do is every other day i come in here and like you see right here i soak them in water so that way everybody for sure is drinking, okay? I don't have to worry about them finding a water bowl and if they're drinking or not. I like to just soak them. That way the water is in their, in their little containers and they are definitely drinking. So what we're doing today is we're just going through all of these guys and just seeing how they're doing. Look how cute these freaking little covers are. Now, a lot of you were asking in the comments, they were like, are these venomous? Baby cobras are completely, completely venomous. Now, when they're this size though, they're just a little bit, look, seldom to strike, okay? They hood up, they hiss, but you can see they don't really pose too much threat. They're pretty chill. Now, that's not the case for all baby cobras. Obviously, some hatch out and they're super feisty, 
right off of the bat, but some are just like this. Pretty chill. They don't really even hood up or anything. Look at this guy. Super cute. We did a cool. Hey, would you like to hood up for me? Maybe we can get one of these little guys to hood up. They're not spitting or anything. You can see how they're getting these colors. So when they hatched, they were really translucent. You guys remember? And now you can see that they're getting these like tans and browns and they're not so much see-through like they were when they first hatched. These guys are probably, what, eight days old now? Maybe nine days old? I'll have to check the dates. I don't know right off the top of my head. So what I am doing is I'm going to figure out which ones have shed already, and then these ones have not. So we're gonna put these ones to the side. Let's try to find that one that shed real quick. Oh, cool, here. Here's one that has shed. So this one, hopefully the rest of them follow in line, and they shed in the next day or so as well. But this one has shed already. You don't really see too much of a difference with his color and everything. Still like this weird brown, tan colors they're all striped for some reason we didn't get any banded babies they're all that big stripe just like their mom their mom isn't striped so these guys are all striped as well this one just shed so we're gonna go ahead put him to the side and give him a nice dry piece of paper towel would you like the hood for me no okay so we're putting him in there like that now this one we're gonna mark so this one we're just gonna write god this marker sucks i can see that all right so that one's shed we're just gonna keep track of what's shedding and what's not because what has shed already we are going to try to feed there we go here's a feisty little guy look how cute these little cobras are ah oh, they're so freaking cute excuse me excuse me come over here all right Get all these guys done real quick. Boy, dude, that's a sweet jacket you got on yeah. there, man. Yeah, Venom Life. Venom Life? It's, it's the life I live. It's cool, man. It's whatever. You got some baby coolies here, you know what I see? Hello. Hello, little Cobra. How are you? Hello. How are you doing? So cute. Look, look at that thing. What a cutie. Ridiculous. What a cutie. Excuse me. Don't bang me, okay? Don't do that, okay? Like, some of the colors on these guys are sick. They're all striped. And then some of them, see how they have these, like, little tiny dots? So I wonder what these guys are going to look like when they mature a little bit. Ooh, you're a spicy one. You hear that? You hear that hissing? Ooh, you hear that? You are spicy. Listen to that thing hiss. Woo! Woo! Yo, look at these little guys. Spicy McSpicerson. Sheesh. Just like his mama. Yeah, they're getting, they are getting good size. Look at that. Solid stripe. Nice. Nice. Pretty good. Hell yeah, dude. So only two have shed out of the 11 so far. Yeah, this one's a little thicky. Look at that. Real nice. So like I said, only two of them are in shed. We still have maybe another day or two before we can feed them. And then after they get a couple meals, we're going to move them into their new Cobra condo that I got from Pack Racks. Shout out to Philip. We're going to go over this rack system here in the next couple of videos. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to get them all set up. Finally, these guys are growing. They're what, a little over a week old and they're already almost doubled in size. All right, so a couple more things before we wrap this video up. Later on this week, me and Alex are going to be emptying out this whole freaking rack right here. And that is the first thing that we're going to be bringing over to Chandler's house. So a bunch of my venomous stuff. While I'm in this moving process, obviously I have to move all of my venomous animals to a licensed facility, Chandler's house. And then once I move into my place, set up the new snake enclosure, snake house outside of my house, then everything will be able to get approved by FWC over there and then move to the new crib. So that'll be really fun. Stay tuned for that later this week. We're going to be moving a bunch of snakes over to Chandler's house. That's going to be freaking really cool now we have to take out shatid i know i don't want to I, <laughs> I hate taking this freaking snake out she is one of the most dangerous snakes in my room but she has a dirty cage that needs to be cleaned she's got dirty shed in there she's got a bunch of poop in there yeah she's trying to bite me already hopefully this goes well 
You ready? We cleared out the room. Got plenty yeah. of room in here. It takes your teeth out. Let's do this. Alex is ready. <laughs> yeah, I got the good job here. I don't know if I'm ready. Yeah, Alex has the easy part. Just stay there and chill. All right, so let's just go nice and chill with her because you guys know how she is. She is super fast and super mean. She does not like me at all. Shatid, hey, ma'am, look at that snake. What a serious freaking animal. She means business, man. She just comes flying out at you. Super aggressive. Relax. Let's go. Let's see. Wow, let's go. Serious, serious animal. Here we go. Oh, Shatid, in all your glory. Look at that. Look at this. What a serious freaking snake. Hear that growling? So let's go put her in the trash can. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> All right, let's see. And down you go. Just like that, guys, right? I make it look easy, don't I? Not really, my heart is. Whew. Man, she's a serious freaking snake. All right, well, let's get in here, get this cage nice and clean for her. And then I think we gotta, we gotta change out Rusty's light bulb also because his light just went out the other day and he needs some heat. And don't forget to go check out these sweet new water bowls that Vision Cage has. Look at that, so cool. Matches your cages, same material, looks great, super durable. Your snakes love them. Indeed, my meanest snake I have. She's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. She likes to bite and come after people. You want to stay? She is a gnarly snake. Dude, she's a serious snake, right? Definitely want to be on your toes at all times with her. She is not like Rusty. But look how big she's getting. Bro. She's getting huge, dude. I mean, okay, the cage is six foot long, all right? Cage is six foot, so she, dude, she's easily. I was gonna say nine. Nine foot now, easily, all of nine feet for sure. And she is a serious, serious woman. But she just loves to come flying out that cage. Way more aggressive than Rusty. Look at that thing. Woo! She means business. Well, without further ado, I think we got to get Rusty out also, just because we got to change his bulb. So let's go in here. See how he is doing. Hello, sir. Yeah, I just want to go ahead and grab him. Now you can just see he's just such a different animal, man. Like Rusty. He's a gentleman. Much more relaxed than Shatib. So let's go ahead and safely put him in the holding receptacle. There you go, sir. See? See how awesome he is? Look how big that freaking snake is. All the orange on him, dude, what a handsome, handsome man. Can't wait to get moved. This time, to set him up in something a little bit bigger too. Now I'm not gonna do what Chandler did and build a huge, huge enclosure right off the bat. I'm sure eventually I will, but at the new place, we're gonna get a couple of these vision cages and we're gonna put them together actually. So I'm gonna get another one of these six footers, probably two more set up a six footer for her and a six footer for him adjacent to each other okay and then what i'm gonna do i know it's gonna kill me but i'm gonna cut little windows in the corners okay so on the sides here i'm gonna cut little windows out of them and merge them together so i'm pretty much gonna put two six footers together so they'll have a total a 12 foot enclosure long ways and that'll be really cool so they'll have two six foots next to each other side by side so they'll have double the space which will be great and then they'll still be nice and low and feel more secure hopefully they will get more defensive like kevin has been getting lately um and it's gonna be really cool so let's go ahead and get this light switched real fast look at how beautiful he is man ah dude i love him he's just the freaking coolest bro the coolest <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You got to see everything from baby cobras versus monstrous king cobras. Hey, are you going to hood up for them? <clears throat> nice. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Dude, I can't wait to show you guys what is in store. We have all sorts of cool stuff about to happen. I'm moving, finally, finally got my property. Stay tuned for all of that. We're gonna post, next time I go see the place, we're still waiting on the people to move out. And then we're gonna do a video there, finally. Show you guys the new property. Show you guys what I have planned. We're gonna try to build a snake house on the outside. Dude, even the other day, I put a deposit down on a baby calf. She will be ready in December to come home. A little Remington, she's so freaking cute. I already got a cow for the property. Bro, there's gonna be so many awesome things happening. So until then, make sure you stay tuned. The raffle is still going on for another, what, five days. Today's the 9th, okay? So I think it ends on the 14th. 14th raffle is going to end, okay? You guys want to rent a trip to South Florida, come down here, hang out for a few days, get a free whole day tattoo. It's going to be super sick. Make sure you go on my website for your merch also. Stay in your lane shirts are on there. Go check them out. Um, anybody that buys... Not only if you get a ticket, but if you've been getting merch lately, I've just been putting your guys' order numbers on the tickets, and we're entering them also. So if you've bought a shirt in the last couple weeks also, you also have some raffle tickets in as well. So you're welcome, guys. And I really appreciate everything that you guys have done to help buy some merch, to raise some freaking money. It's been awesome. We're moving to our new property. Finally, I can't thank you guys enough, and I can't wait for what's in store. We got my daughter coming. We got a new house coming. We got new animals coming. We got the new snake room coming. Dude, we got all sorts of awesome stuff about to happen. And of course, big thank you, brother from another mother, Pepe. Yeah, here. A lot of this wouldn't happen if it wasn't for you too. You have a huge your main reason, not the main reason, the but main, one of the one of reason. the biggest reasons. Alex moving down here, helping me out with everything has That's really, perfect. has really been I mean, a game changer. You've changed my life, bro. And you've changed my life. Yeah, for real, changed my life. For true. real, the last three. You guys have true. changed my life too, and I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. And so does Alex. Alex is doing his own yeah. YouTube thing. You we were just, we were just talking about how awesome his channel is getting. It's crazy. Dude, it's growing. It's crazy. His views are awesome, dude. It's so it's ridiculous. Awesome, bro. The the fact that you guys love watching what we do just on a regular basis and things that we just do so casually and just every day we think is just like whatever you guys think is awesome and that means the world to us life's a trip man it really is it's really cool so thank you guys we love you so much we do love, love you very much like we do we appreciate each and every one of you guys everybody that comments on these everybody that clicks that like button that hits that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification button as well all of you guys that do all the things we really appreciate you. Woo! So till next time, guys. Chandler's house. Moving some snakes over. We're moving all the venomous to Chandler's house. It is time to move, guys. We're going to be breaking down cages. Moving things around. It's going to be sick. We got aviaries coming. Taruk is coming back home. Hi. Taruk is probably going to have a boyfriend, too. So Taruk has been with another male at my friend Tyrone's house for the last year or so right now. I was just talking to Tyrone the other day. He said that she's super bonded with this male. So I'm probably going to get the male as well. Stay tuned. I miss that bird. It's going to be great. Vision cage. Custom cages. Mm. Vision also makes bird cages. Did mm. you guys know that? Mm. Taruk's getting a vision cage. Mm. It's going to be sick. It's like not obviously like this. It's a big screen in. You'll see. Custom Cages, they're great. It's a huge company. They don't just build reptile enclosures. They build everything. The elephant trunk snakes are getting a new cage from them. Daruk is getting a new cage from them. It's going to be freaking epic, guys. Okay? Till next time. Thanks for watching. Love you. Later. God bless. Good.